What is good, guys? This is Charleston Team COG. Coming at you with Kyle, my man. Played at Locals the other night, and he got first place with what deck? Heroes, baby. Hero, baby. Neos, let's go. All right. So, Kyle, show us your list. All right. So, for the Elemental Hero Package, we got your standard oh. Triple Stratos. Let's flip them around. You're absolutely right. Beautiful ultimate. You Beautiful. Know, it's, it's the starter. He's the star of the deck. He does everything you needed to do. I'm playing one Elemental Hero Neos. It's the new stuff from Poe that lets you end on the, well, not end, but uh, interrupt your opponent with the Shining Neo Swingman. Playing one Shadow Mist. I am thinking about upping that though. I kind of want to see her more. One Liquid Soldier. And then, not an Elemental Hero, but I am playing one Cross Keeper. It's kind of a spicy, you know, spicy one of. Doesn't it let you draw? Uh, yeah, if you fusion summon an E-Hero, you can uh, banish it from your graveyard to draw two and then put one on bottom. And then uh, you can pitch it from your hand to summon an Elemental Hero from your hand. So it's, uh, you know, great for getting your Shadow Mist to search for a mass change or get Stratos out there without eating your normal summon. That's that's pretty insane. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so for Destiny Heroes, I got a pretty standard package. One uh, Plasma, two Malicious, one Denier. Why not three? I wish, man. <laughs> I wish. Konami's too scared. Yep, they are scared. And then one Dark Angel. And I don't get to Dark Angel people a lot, but when I do, it is funny. <laughs> Teach them a lesson. Teach them a lesson. They're like, I want to play my spell cards. Nope, not today. You wanted to have fun at locals, huh? Yeah, that's right. So it's uh, it's always fun deciding if I want to Plasma and Skill Drain or uh, Secret Village them with, with a monster. That way they can't Lightning Storm me or even lay me. For the Vision Heroes, we got three Ferris. Two increase and two of ion. Do you think the two increase is correct? I know there's like tons of debate in the community over one or two. Uh, I I am a man that chooses yeah. two every time because if I play one, I will see it more often than if I play two, and that's not doesn't make sense, but that's how it works. That's Yu-Gi-Oh logic. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh logic. And that's it for the monsters. Uh, for spells, I got one foolish, one e call. And three hero lives. And then, uh, you know, all standard starter stuff, get stuff into my hand. I'm also, uh, for my fusion stuff, I'm playing one Miracle Fusion for uh, to search off Sunrise. Three Fusion Destiny. Oh, beautiful. They are. One Palmerization. And I am playing three Mask Change. I decided that I... Two was not enough, and I wanted to make Dark Law as often as possible. Yeah, we have Tier Element running around our locals, so, like, yeah, <laughs> check that deck. Yup. And then for non-engine non stuff, I'm playing two Forbidden Droplets, two Dark Rulers, three Book of Moons, just as much, uh, you know... If I happen to lose the dice roll, as much interruption, or, you know, both of these can be used on their turn and try to break their boards. And that's it for spell cards. And Very then nice. for traps, I've got one favorite contact because it's searchable, one rivalry of warlords, and one goes in. Oh, sweet. Okay. Not always relevant, but... Easy side outs. Yep. Easy side outs. And that's it for the main deck. Going into the extra deck. For Masked Heroes, I've got one Acid, one Blast, and then two Dark Laws. Have you have you been able to like use like normal summon Stratos and like mass change out of it into this yet? Oh, all the time. All the time. It Dang, is that's... my favorite way to get around Imperm. Uh, that's yeah, that's just so sweet being able to mass change Stratos and get and dodge an Imperm and get a search. Yep, yep, and it's even better if they're uh, if. They went first because then I can normally, you know, eat one of their spells and traps or half one of their dudes. Uh, for elemental heroes, I've got Absolute Zero, Sunrise, Wake Up, the Infernal Rage, and then the Shining Neo Swing Man. It's just I love this combo since since we got the full 
the the full release of it being able to search all that out and then on their turn go into the shining neo swingman and pop a few cards it's it gives like the deck like an extra form of like disruption you know it, besides just good old dp control and it's it's a giant beater a lot of people get caught off guard when they see 300 extra attack for each monster in my graveyard and then of course i got dp man i we were just talking about this earlier we remember when this card was so oppressive like yeah this card was literally the bane of so many decks existence yeah may and the snake stay dead and it's still so good uh that's it for my fusions uh for links i'm playing double cross crusader wonder driver dread decimator and then i'm also playing the uh divisor which is really what helps me with the uh with the shining neos uh line because then i can search out the vanilla neos i uh, when he's summoned i can fuse into infernal rage right off the bat you know especially if i have stratos in play or shadow mist and then i just start doing my other lines with wonder driver to reset polymerizations cross keeper to reutilize my destiny heroes and get some extra searches and then dread decimator just for the beats for the, just for the beats yeah he's just that's wish he did a little more but still it's all right yep but all right and uh that's that's all i got because i didn't build a side deck for it man went undefeated with no side deck what a champ. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Charles from Team COG signing out.